Hello again, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. When it comes to detailing, paint, plastics, plastic trim, wheels, interior leather, trim, and plastics, I will use a dedicated cleaner for that um, substrate. However, when it comes to upholstery, cloth seats, carpeting, floor mats such as this, and that, by the way, happens to include headliner, I use um, a concoction of just everyday products that you probably have laying around the house with just a few tweaks here and there depending on what you have um, in your cupboards. So I'm going to give you that mix right now and I'm going to show you exactly how it works because we have two great candidates when it comes to mats here. These are absolutely nasty. Uh, I actually talk the customer into replacing them, so I get to keep these and test them. So let me show you the uh, formula for this cleaner right here. No need to overthink it at all when it comes to cleaning, carpeting, floor mats, cloth seats, etc. No need to go out and separate your money from your wallet for some of these expensive just unnecessary products that are out there when you can just put something together from ordinary household items. And just let me give you one formula of many that you can throw together and just adjust slightly. So to get things started, any version of this, one ounce. This is excellent at breaking up, of course, oils and waxes and greasy stuff. And that's why it's so good at cleaning dishes. But we only want to put an ounce or less. I have a couple of these mixtures mixed up with different um, uh, dilution ratios, depending on what type of interior I'm working on. Because you don't want to um, overload your spray bottle with these types of products that I'm going to show you here. And you don't want to leave a residue behind. If you do have a very soiled carpet like this, where you need a heavy formula, just grab a little bit of peroxide and put it in your cabinet that you can use to follow up this cleaner and remove any type of residue left behind. That will only happen if you mix up a batch that is just um, very strong and has a lot of the cleaners that I'm going to show you. Okay, let's get started here. One ounce. You can go with the half ounce, or you could go with a full ounce, depending on how soiled the interior is. These are pretty nasty, so let's go with the full ounce. Again, the formula can be adjusted with a little bit of common sense, not only with dilution ratios, but also what you pick. It could be Dawn, it could be any type at all, uh, dishwashing liquid. Next, Tide Sport here with Febreze. Not only is this going to help with the cleaning process, it's going to freshen up the smell in the interior. You can use cold water clean, Sport, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to be Tide. That's the point. Again, half ounce, one full ounce, all depending on how soiled the interior is. And you can play with the dilution ratios to make it a formula of your own. Okay, when it comes to APCs or the degreasers, I never use them on cloth or upholstery. However, I do like the tannin uh, stain removers. This is a form of a degreaser. This one happens to be from Matrix. But any degreaser you have laying around the house, Meguiar's or uh, Purple Power, whatever, whatever you have, again, one ounce. No more than that, or you'll have to fight a residue. Okay, now the last little ingredient, OxyClean, the powder. Take this little scoop. Just get enough in there to cover the bottom of the scoop and pour it in there. This is what it looks like. We only have just the bottom layer or, or the bottom of this 32-ounce sprayer filled with product. And that's going to be strong enough. Fill the rest with water 
up to, to about right here. Warm water. Okay, that is going to do it, and you're going to see it is just a little bit lighter than this concentration here. This one is for some pretty soiled carpeting and floor mats. It's going to take a little bit of time for the OxyClean to dissolve. So mix, mix this up about two hours before you go to use it. Shake it up good, let it sit, let the OxyClean and everything else dissolve and mix together, and you are good to go. Okay, let's get a line run down through the middle here so we can get a 50-50. Next, pre-treat. Mist the area, let it sit for 10-15 minutes. Okay, it's been 10-12 minutes. You'll notice no steamers, no drill attachments, no oversaturation. One thing I drill into my employees and the, the people that I train into their heads, oversaturation is absolutely the worst enemy for cloth interiors, cloth seats, carpeting, and floor mats. So that was a mist. Now we're going to come back and we'll hit it one more time. Also moistened the brush. And I'm just going to use this interior detailing brush. When you're brushing and cleaning, go in crisscross pattern, diagonal, get all the directions so you work all of the fibers in all directions. Okay, now we're going to follow up with a microfiber. This is to blot and remove any excess moisture. Now you want to take an old microfiber and twist and blot. You can see what we're bringing up into the towel. Well, the only thing we won't be able to take care of, the cigarette burns. Here and there. Follow up with your vac.
you'll go from a nasty floor mat or carpet to a clean one. And the cigarette burns, that's for a different video. Okay, just by hand, no steamer. I mean, if you do have a steamer available or a drill brush attachment, it's going to make your work even easier yet. I don't like to put patterns in the carpet or floor mats. I just like to brush one way to the lighter side of the fabric. And there you go. An easy formula to put together to clean some really trashed interior.